Hey everyone, you're here with Mark Batwa at PerfectGuardians.com. So in this video, we're going to get into tips and tricks about how to fix your well water inexpensively while improving your grow. You know the saying, knocking out two birds with one stone. And that's exactly what we're doing now. Okay, so for Patrick, he is experiencing nutrient lockout in flowering using Fox Farm at half strength. And he's wondering if his well water at 750 parts per million with the combination of Fox Farm is the reason why he is getting a nutrient lockout. The answer to this question is yes and no. The reason specifically why you have a nutrient lockout is because you have a magnesium deficiency or a magnesium lockout. The magnesium, when you look at the full food web for minerals, plays such a significant part because it makes all the other minerals bioavailable. Your bacteria in your soil need magnesium as well as all your other trace minerals to work properly. Just to give you another analogy, any real grower or cannabis lover knows that a full spectrum oil is actually better than a super high THC concentration. Because when you have a full spectrum, the medicine is able to work properly. That's the same thing in the soil food web. When you have a full set of trace minerals, everything works properly. So what's happening right here, most likely your well water probably has a high sodium. And when you have a high sodium, it makes your water alkaline, which you really need an acidity. So I would check the pH of your well water first, because if you are dealing with a higher alkaline water, it could be really anything above 7. 7.5 is kind of that threshold, although the ideal range for pH of water is going to be around 5.8 to 6.3. When I say that range, don't make it your mission to get your water to that pH level. The reason why is because if your beneficial bacteria and fungi are working properly in your soil, they actually have the ability to change the pH from an acid to an alkaline and back from an alkaline to an acidity from the oxygen and the CO2 that is being released and taken up through your root system. Although, if you do have a high alkaline water initially getting started, that process will not be able to work properly. So the first step is going to be to pH your water to at least 7. A touch under 7 would make things easier. The next thing is a product called Drops of Balance. The Drops of Balance is a ionic sulfated mineral product. What's really interesting about this product is that it will go into your water and rip apart all the man-made bonds from anything. We're talking about fertilizers, pharmaceuticals, volatile organic compounds. Those are the chemicals that get leached out of the plastic to a whole assortment of man-made chemicals. What Drops of Balance does, because it's such a strong acid, it will go into your water it will rip apart these man-made chemicals, reassemble them back into sulfated minerals. The excess chemicals floating around in your water will become inert so it doesn't shut down your microbiology, which is going to be the next thing that is most likely affecting your soil. When you have a whole bunch of man-made chemicals or leach or fertilizer that leaches into your groundwater, which if you have 750 parts per million, I can guarantee you a lot of stuff has been leaching into your groundwater for quite some time. And the reason why you're getting 750 parts per million is because you probably have a well that was not dug too deep. And 20 years ago, the water was perfect, even 10 years ago, but obviously because of drought and water issues and concentration of fertilizers on our topsoil and man-made chemicals, all this stuff basically gets trapped in our top layer. So I'm kind of guessing your well isn't dug very deep as well, because the farther down you go, the more the water gets cleaned naturally. So when using Drops of Balance, it's going to rip apart all these man-made chemicals that has been leached into your groundwater. And when it reassembles them, it's actually going to become food for your plant. 
So as you could see what we're doing here, the first step is pH your water. When you pH your water, it's actually going to make drops of balance work properly. If your water is alkaline, drops of balance actually become inert. It doesn't work as well. So you want it to be more of an acidic before you add in the drops of balance. And that's why I'm telling you, you're going to want to pH your well water first. Next, you're going to add in one ml per gallon of drops of balance. That's going to clean your water from man-made chemicals, and it's going to add in trace minerals. So just kind of the analogy we're talking about a full spectrum, right, is being better, same situation here. When you add in the drops of balance, it's ripping apart all these man-made chemicals and it's reassembling them so that the water is balanced. When the water is balanced and has the proper trace minerals, it will allow a healthy environment for creatures to come back into your soil, which will produce beneficial bacteria, which makes those minerals bioavailable again. Because bacteria is what produces coenzymes for the minerals, which then actually allows them to be processed after they get absorbed through the root system into your plant. And because anything above roughly 800 parts per million, 900 parts per million, begins to shut down your microbiology. So because your parts per million is 750 already, and you're adding in the drops of balance, there's not much more room to add fertilizer into your water. Unless you want to grow more synthetic versus using your microbiology in your soil. If you just did this, I bet you would be able to get through the majority of your grow with your plants being pretty healthy. You're not going to put in a lot of time intensive work. And when you switch over into flowering and you begin to see your flowers, because your soil is in pretty good condition, you'll be able to use a bloom booster of some level, nothing too fancy, just one product, probably a little bit higher up on the potassium starting in weeks four, five, and six. And I bet you anything, your parts per million in your water will probably be around 900 to 1,000, which again, at this point, your microbiology isn't being shut down too bad and you kind of have the best of both worlds. You have a little bit of synthetic fertilizer when your plants can use it or a little higher phosphorus or potassium product, which you can also find a great natural soluble potash. The other way to do it, if you don't want to put the time into cleaning your water and reestablishing your microbiology in your soil, you are going to need to get a reverse osmosis machine. And if you are growing in the ground, then I would recommend digging out some holes, roughly about two feet in diameter and putting fresh soil in there. Next, you're going to get RO water. Probably going to want to buy a, a RO system because you're going to be using quite a bit of water throughout your grow, depending on the size of your garden. And when you have RO water, from there, you're going to be able to use your Fox Farm or whatever nutrient line you're using at the recommended dosages because you have fresh soil that doesn't have a high concentration of fertilizers. And then you have RO water that is starting at a parts per million, probably around three or five or 10 versus 750. And when you add in your fertilizer and give it to your plants, the salt hasn't accumulated over time, once again, because you're far starting with fresh soil. Those are the two ways you're going to be able to fix this problem using your well water. Both ways you will find success, and I promise they will work out for you. Hope this video was helpful. Please like, share, and subscribe. All my Patreon buttons are down below. Most of my videos get demonetized because of the subject we're talking about. I love this industry, so obviously I keep contributing to it. Although you guys donating or whenever you guys need products to purchase, come into our website and give me the opportunity to service you in that way as well. Keeps me going. Thank you so much and have a great grow, everyone.